Morning. Steve Johnson has just collected his own coffee, but I don't want a coffee too early in the morning. We're just going to see what's in store for today. Do you know what? There's not much in store today. It's quite a quiet day. Seniors teeing off. Bar closed. Bar doesn't open later on, obviously. Kitchen closed. It should be a good day. Hey, there's a few visitors on the course today. Hey, but bar, first tee, practice facilities. Do you know, the course is pretty, pretty busy this time of the morning. All the seniors go out, a couple of guys in the practice range. Should be a good day. So, if I just turn the camera around. Guys, today what we want to discuss is putting, putting tips. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to do a, a putting series putting series on technique okay so today what I'm going to cover is today what we're going to cover today hmm, let me think um, today we're just going to cover the general fundamentals that can plague any golfer firstly starting with grip pressure Ben Crenshaw's so we're going to cover Ben Crenshaw's greatest putting tips that he's employed over the years and what he's obviously tutored to people or coached to people and we'll see what's in store. Thanks. Wilson Demo Day coming up at the end of June. Range balls for lessons tonight. Tell you what, the clubhouse is looking in tip-top condition. Uh, if you want to come for your weekend deal, a coffee and a, a roll for three quid. Come on ahead. Scorecards. Oh. Oh. Steve Johnson in the background there. Morning. Busy at work as always. Always, Jim. Always. How are you? I'm not too bad, you know. Good. Not too bad. Good. You got a coaching this morning? You got seniors class? And class seniors stuff? class this afternoon, yes. Two lessons in between that and two lessons afterwards. So it's all go. It's all go. Well, putting class this morning? Putting class this morning, yes. Putting class this morning. What's the most important? What's the two things in the putt so that shouldn't move? I don't know. Parts what, of the what, body that shouldn't move in your putt. What is the two parts that shouldn't move in the, the golf swing? Your swings? head and your knees. Head and your knees, yeah. That's, that's very interesting. Give us some free advice. Right, free advice, anyone want a flapjack, Kit Kat, golf <laughs> balls, anyone shortage of tees? Anyway, let's get back to the serious note. Ping G400? Oh, yes. Ben Ross? Yes. But anyway, it's... Short but putting tips. What we're going to discuss is Ben Crenshaw's putting tips that he used to employ when he was playing his best golf. Do you know Ben, Cren uh, ben Crenshaw's putting tips, Steve? Gentle Ben, um, not really. Not really. Forward press. For, you're close. Flat left, left wrist. Yes, correct, you were close. Where? That's good to So, what he used to do was he used to get his two thumbs pointing down the grip. So, he used to apply pressure, his three pressure points on the left hand, so three last fingers. He used to put pressure on the back of the grip. So there's equal pressure on both hands. So if you struggle with distance control, check grip pressure on both hands. And make sure as you take your posture, your arms hang below, arms hang below your shoulders, and they stay in that position. Too many golfers have quick put posture, where they bend too much over, they're slumped too much over, and then their arms trap on the inside too quickly, and then they're stuck behind them. So make sure you have a nice good posture, very, very nice posture. Light like grip pressure. Yeah, very, very nice posture. Very, very nice posture. It's important. If, it you, don't, if you don't do that, you'll get sore. Sore limbs. So nice grip pressure. The posture and putting needs to be very consistent. It does. So a good posture is good. If it's the same all the time, then it's just as good. It's, so you need to so like get it good from the start. You're absolutely right. Get it good from the start. Shoulders level. And walk back and forth. I've updated it so far. So. Well, first of all, we'll talk about is light grip pressure. Make sure you can feel the, the hands at the back of the grip, so apply pressure to the back of the club. So, now we need to talk about if you, if you grip the putter nice and lightly, the putter can swing. So if you grip it nice and lightly, you can use the weight of the putter to take the speed. If you grip it too tightly, and that's where the putter head feels light. So, lightly grip pressure, swing the putter, if that makes sense. So, when we're set up to the ball, we want to set up to with our feet slightly left of the okay? Too many golfers get too close to position where they can't actually see the target, they can't see where they're going. Okay, so let's withdraw this left hip slightly. So the right toe is in front of the left toe. And from here, you can see the target, okay? So out of your left eye, you can see the target. That'll allow your arms to swing 
more across the wall slightly and that'll help me release the putter better, okay? So, apply pressure to the back of the club, make sure your shoulders are level, your shoulders have to be level, aim slightly to the left, and then allow your hands to rock past your left foot, okay? So if we stand open, we can release the putter better and get this left hand to work more towards target, okay? We want to be slightly bent, slightly bent, that'll give us a nice stable foundation, okay? We need to keep knees quiet, so as Steve said, no two things you should keep quiet within the stroke and your knees and, and your head, okay? So nice and easy. Go back, go through. Arm should hang in a relaxed position. From there, you should just take the butt back straight back, straight back, straight to the or slightly by an inside arm. Okay, so stand nice and tall. Arms have to be relaxed. Arms right into your rib cage, nice light grip pressure. Stand slightly open, allow your hands to release slightly to the left and try and this, this will help you on left to right, also. Okay, so now let's talk about eye position. So ball position, ball position should be almost inside our left heel, okay? Eye position, so instead of having your eyes fixated over the golf ball, let's try and get our eyes slightly behind the putter. So let's try and get our eyes on the heel of the putter, okay? That'll help us hit the ball from a side position, as opposed to being on top of the ball, and we lift our head too early. So if you have your eyes slightly behind the golf ball, that'll help you. So if I lift my head, my shoulders stay in a, a neutral position, okay? If I was to, so if I look at the heel of the putter, and if I will take the, take the putter back, take the putter through, I, all I need to do is tilt my head, okay? So my, if my head was on the golf ball and I lift up my head, then my shoulders... If you are going left below right, so let's go the conventional route. Three pressure points in the left hand. They should wrap your, wrap your three fingers, take your fourth finger and your thumb off the grip. Then you should just be able to balance it with these three pressure points, okay? Put the right hand on, both hands should be of the same pressure, okay? And as I was saying before, I was in a slightly closed position where my body's aiming slightly to the right. Then I'm going to be more inclined to all push the putt out to the right because the path's going out to the right. So if I can almost look at the target and feel my body positioned slightly left, okay? That'll allow my hands to exit slightly left, okay? And that'll help me release the putt a bit, especially on a putt like this. So. I can see the hole, so especially on a putt like this where quite a, there's a, quite a severity in the slope left to right, okay it's downhill, there's a lot of break in this putt, but the two things that I would always like to suggest is when you are wrapping your hands around the, the, the club, let the putter do the work, let the putter swing, we don't have to independently stroke the putter, you use the weight of the putter, you can only feel the weight of the putter if you grip it really lightly, okay, arms hang, it's important to let your arms hang, so you get into a good posture, okay. And when you're over a putt, it's really important to have no tension within your stroke. Because tension, if that plate interferes with your stroke, then that's where you hit. Looking at grip pressure, that dictates obviously the swing of the putt. Another thing to sort of look at is length of stroke, okay? So, you want your backswing a bit longer than your follow through, okay? So, see too many golfers, they take a short follow through. So if I go back forward, so I'm in the camera, take a short follow through, then a quick jab forward, okay, to actually apply pressure to the putt. If you do that, then the face angle changes position, okay? So try and strive for, or what Ben Crenshaw strive for, was a longer backswing, but almost a shorter fall through, okay? So an abbreviated fall through. When he done this, he took the club long on the way back and stopped. So he stopped because the putter face was square, okay? So it's important to try that, okay? Eye position as well. Eye position slightly on the heel of the putter as opposed to on top. Slightly from the side. Okay, so let's hit these couple of putts. Same grip pressure on both hands. I'm not too sure what's going to happen here. Let's try this one again, okay? Light grip pressure, feel the weight of the putter. Let the putter swing, okay? There you go. So, if you've got any thoughts on that video, eye position, grip pressure, body alignment, all factored into one video, okay? If you find my tips helpful, make sure you comment below on your thoughts on this video. And if you find my tips helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you need any future content, comment below. Make sure you like the video. The more videos, the more likes you get on each video, the bigger the audience, the more views and the better. More subscribers and the better the golfer you become if you watch the videos. And follow me on all social media platforms. My handle is tagged below, all under Jamie Allen Golf. Thank you.